Hello, this is Ilchibu Ko. You're watching Tao Thursday with Ilchibu Ko on Brain Education TV. Today, I will talk about how to overcome your negative emotions. No matter who it is, I am sure you are dealing with emotions in a daily basis. It is very familiar to us. So today I wanted to share about what emotion is and how emotions impact your body, how to continue to feel your emotions without avoiding and also to overcome that emotion by continue to going inward and finding that self that is beyond emotion. That is a true energy and big love. So first, let me explain to you about what emotion is. Emotions are always changing. Also, it's constant. And at the same time, it is not true you. So when we are talking about emotions that are changing all the time, you can consider it's like weather. It's something that can go volatile. So one moment you can be peaceful and one moment perhaps you may have had experiences that you get so angry and explode. Emotions are not true you, but it is something that responds to the circumstances and situations based on what information you keep inside of your brain. So we can say that emotions are the information that existing inside of you plus the stimulation coming towards you and you are feeling that. Feeling is the truth, but it's not true you because the reaction is very different from each person. So it's a very important for all of us to know about what emotions are and know that it's okay to feel it but also at the same time you want to understand and process that emotion well also emotions impact our body a lot so in uh, eastern medicine we talk about uh, organs are impacted by certain emotions so for example Sorrow will impact your lungs. Anger will impact your liver. And your fear will impact your kidneys. And your stomach will be impacted by your worries. And even overjoy will impact your heart. There are uh, things that you may be dealing with in your body that are related to emotions. If you become aware of yourself and train yourself to go inward more without avoiding the pain of the physical body or emotions, you'll be able to sense and feel where your body is hurting and what emotions are related to the pain inside of your body. And those are, uh, I will be going over that in the future as you become more and more aware of yourself uh, you train yourself, you know what to do with. But today, I wanted to share with you that uh, how much your body can be impacted by emotions, as well as when you hold emotions inside of you, then your facial expressions also become different. Your body movement also become different. The more you hold your emotions inside, your body will become tighter too. So today, I wanted to share with you how you can process your negative emotions. First, I want to introduce the method of tapping. In our traditional practice of body and brain and brain education, we do body tapping a lot. So you can utilize your palms, you can utilize your fingers, you can even clasp your hands sometimes, uh, or you can make fist. And you create these vibrations through tapping. There are so many benefits to tapping. Tapping helps you to feel energy or to feel your body in the present moment. And as you are feeling your body, your mind will not go somewhere else, but your 
mind will be present with you. Also, when you tap and create the vibration, then the stagnant energy that you piled up inside of you, what we can call emotion, can begin to move even the emotion that was buried inside of you deeply will come to the surface and you can begin to even feel a numbed emotion as well. So through tapping, you are able to be in touch with the feeling that you may have forgotten how to feel or set aside and avoid it and or be able to eventually let it go. Something that I want to also mention is that emotion is not you, but yours. You can become owner of the emotion, not as your identity, as your emotion, as you. So for example, you can say, I have anger instead of I am angry. If I continue to say I am angry, then I am an angry person. But if I say I have anger, you are able to feel it without becoming anger itself. And eventually, you can even let that go. Just like you may never say, I am a car, no matter how much you feel you love your car, you will say, I have a car. So you can buy and you can sell the car. The same token, you can feel this emotion by tapping method, allow that emotion to come up. And as an owner of the emotion, you are able to choose to let go. So it is important for you to allow yourself to let go of those emotions that are piled up inside of you that can create the illness in your body. Next time, I will show you how to process that negative energy or emotions. And step by step, I will guide you to let go of those emotions. Thank you for watching Tao Thursday with Yuchibuko on Brain Education TV. See you next time.